Former Safaricom CEO Michael Joseph has been appointed as a caretaker head of the firm. So, uh, Joseph, who served as CEO since 1999, retired in 2010 and currently sits at the Telco's board. Faisal Ahmed has more on this story. For those in the know, Michael Joseph never left Safaricom. For the last nine years, he kept an office within the building. Though not on a day-to-day -day running, observers say he, like a doting father, was always around for the giant telco. His appointment as caretaker CEO, however, will not be a surprise as he will be taking over an all-too-familiar territory. A member of the Safaricom board, MJ, as Joseph is fondly referred to, paid a glowing tribute to his successor who passed on early Monday morning. Uh, Bob has taken this company from where it was when he arrived here in 2010 and took over from me. I think we have been very fortunate and lucky that Bob understood what Safaricom was all about. The decision by the board, however, pundits say, once again lifted the lid on the contentious succession politics at Safaricom. Speaking to Citizen Television on phone, the ICT Cabinet Secretary once again reiterated the government's preference for the next CEO. I don't think the government's position has changed, uh, but you know we would love to see uh, a Kenyan. Mm -hmm. But you know, like uh, any other company, they have a choice as to who they want to be their, their CEO. Mm -hmm. If it is not a Kenyan, they have to go through the normal process of uh, obtaining a work permit. In the current shareholding structure, as at filed records at the end of 2018, the government of Kenya owned 35%, Vodacom 35%, Vodafone Kenya Limited 5%, while the remaining shareholders held a 25% stake in the listed telco. Speculations have been rife that the delay in appointing a new CEO and the further extension of the late Colimo's term was as a result of boardroom interests. I'd like my successor to focus on the role that Safaricom plays in business, in, in society, uh, because we're not a company that puts profit first. Despite some of the numbers you see today, we're a company that puts purpose first. And whoever takes this company over in the long term has to understand that and has to focus on that. Joseph is expected to stay in office until a substantive CEO is appointed. For Michael Joseph, this will be a second helping at Safaricom, albeit in passing. However, for the board, they will be walking on eggshells to try and balance the shareholders' interests. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV.